So to start off, we're going to start with the abbreviation of the interpreting agency. So it's Kelly's interpreting agency. And then the assignment number, the first one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The start date, uh, which would be next Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday, let's see, that would be October 13. So you type in 10, 13, start time. Now it automatically corrects this to a short date format. Start time would be 1 o'clock p.m. It's very important to put a space in between um, the 1 o'clock p.m. You could also type out 13 o'clock. And date would again be 10.13. And time would be, we're going to do the two-hour minimum of 3 p.m. Description, let's put uh, Brent's entrance. And location is 1, 2, 3. Main Street. So here you'll want to do what's seven days after October 13th would be October 20th, would be the next date of the next appointment. And so here you can just drag this little guy, you'll see this little dot in the corner, you drag it down. I like. We'll just go ahead and type in 1 p.m. 10.20 and then end time 3 o'clock p.m. Now here, because there are no numbers here, it's not going to want to automatically increase the number or anything like that. You can just drag it down and go repeat front entrance. You drag down in the little corner there. However, if I were to drag this down here, it would say 124 Main Street. We don't want to change the address. So we're just going to go ahead and type in 123 Main Street. Now, here's where things get interesting. We'll start here. So you'll notice that, you know, this is only if your interpreting agency has sequential appointment numbers. But if it does, this is where it gets really cool. Drag it down. 123, 457, 123, 458, 123, 459. So it'll automatically fill in those appointment numbers for you. Start date. So now we already have an, a pattern established with these cells. So we can just do this. Drag it down. And it'll automatically calculate every seven days. Here, we're going to do the same thing. We already have the pattern established that it's always going to be 1 o'clock. Drag it down. 1 o'clock. And actually, I believe you can highlight across the board and drag down, but I'm doing it manually in this case. Select both, drag down, boom. And then, since it knows that all this information is going to be the same, it's going to try and fill in the blanks with this pattern, which the pattern is as it stays the same. Boom. So here we have, now mind you, this is in three months, but we at least have until November everything filled in. And you can keep on doing this and come up with your list of appointments.